guys, it's the Beer's Gone Bad. Where the beer flows like wine. Tonight, we're your host again. I'm Pat Tugin. I'm Scott Van Book. And we have a special guest with us again, J.C. Hill from Cali Kebab. Thank you. J.C., hey, welcome. Hey, thank you. J.C.'s been stepping in this week because J.C. is the head basically brew dude at his... His restaurant co uh, co owner Kali Kebab in PV and out by state. JC's gonna hit us with some knowledge. That's why JC's here. For all those people out there who are watching, like you guys know what we're talking about. Maybe, maybe we don't. Still JC does. Learn, there. Get ready to get your face blown. We're all right. going down. So tonight we have another beer from Port Brewing Company. That's yeah. Actually, like, what are we doing tonight? We got the Mongo IPA. Is that what? We are doing Mongo Indian Pale Ale by Port Brewing. As per requests from uh, YouTube, Twitter. Uh, from Twitter, actually, I've had a lot of people this week talking about when are you gonna do Mongo? When are you gonna do Mongo? And I said, you know what? We're gonna do Mongo tonight. What? Boom. So we're coming in at 8.5 percent APV tonight. It's gonna be 6.99, pretty much your standard 20, uh, 20 ounce right there. 22. I'm uh, what did I say? 20. Mm -hmm. Your standard 17 ounce <laughs> right there. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna Rock pop this one open here. Uh, Shotgun Tool again by tailgatingideas.com. You can find them at shop tailgating idea, uh, uh, shop tailgating ideas .com. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Sorry about that mess. Also, up. too, there's a there's that challenge is still out there for anyone who wants to shotgun a beer. So that is true. You can check us out. Go to our YouTube channel. You can see our shotgun challenge here. Scott will challenge you, and if you beat him in a shotgun, he will buy you a beer. How fast are you? Shotgun the beers. Shots. Uh, shoot. <laughs> God, dude. Yeah, Scott yeah. is actually uh, subpar five seconds here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just about four. We did a chugging contest at a restaurant, and uh, one of our guys did it in three seconds. Whoa! Uh, Sixteen ounce pint. Oh! He just slugged it. it was wow! Pretty, yeah, it was pretty intense. I'm trying to pour this without the yeast because this thing was just yeasty. Yeah. Yeasty, yeasty. When we picked that thing up, you could That's see. That's a serious head right there. I'm gonna let the rest of that just sit there. So, you get a little more out of that. Hey, yeah. put in your drink, man. It's all good. Oh, I'm not scared. Port Bruin, for anybody who doesn't know, is... Scott, where are we... Where, where's this coming out of? Port Bruin is from San Marcos, which is North County, San Diego. That is. They also do Lost Abbey, for anybody who's seen Lost Abbey. Uh, it's Pizza Port. Yeah, it came from Pizza Port. Yeah. Port Bruin is, is, uh, is Pizza Port, just why. It's uh, Tommy Arthur started it. Um... <laughs> And uh, the Lost Abbey's their Belgian wing, and then ports their uh, West Coast uh, beers. Did you see that it's it's a it's a cat getting barreled on the front? Of <laughs> <laughs> Look at that chick. Who's, yeah. That's oh, that's pretty epic. And the sign here says, "We realize it's absurd to show a cat surfing on a beer label." <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and just say that I, I don't do want to read the whole thing because it's huge. Uh, Pizza Port just opened a restaurant in Ocean Beach too. Yes, I don't they did. know if it's, it's bomb. A, yeah, it's good. yeah, it's they, the same caliber as the one up they have up north. We got tons of beers on tap. They got a good uh, brew. Boys, give me a color here. There. One Bud Light, ten Rasputin. This guy is gonna come in at a. I'm gonna put about a three and a half. Really? Yeah, it's kind of got I'm, like a. I'm gonna go a little further than that. I'm gonna call it a five. Just mine is that cloudy. I did go for that last pour though. You poured all the yeast in yours. I got the look at all the little sediment at the bottom. Those are flavor crystals though. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good. That's that's where your beer flavor. No, it's good though. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put about three and a half on this thing just because Scott did yeast his out and. It's, it's probably know. closer to a four, but. Where are you at? I'm probably around like a four or two. I, think, I agree. I think yeah. it's, uh, Depending on the bottle, we actually had to put yeah. a bottle back when we bought it because it was too golden. yeasty. One of us decided to swish the bottle up in in the store. That bottle went right back into the refrigerator. <laughs> Wasn't the right call. So cheers. Let's get into this real quick. For those who don't know, we uh, got yeah, into Port Brewing this last week, and we. Uh, we did their, uh, what was that we did? Wipeout IPA. Wipeout IPA. And we dubbed that the bud, uh, the IPA light IPA of the light. world because that beer was perfect. Perfect yeah. IPA on it a was, very light it scale. It was an amazing IPA. It was extremely and drinkable. I want to say this one is a little more aggressive. This is it's your next step up. Yeah, this is it. This is, this is a step. This is Wipeout 2 in the more aggressive. Yeah, this is just a hot blast. I mean, you yeah. got... These guys must have stuffed this with all kinds of West Coast hops. Talk about, what, yeah, what are we what, seeing here in the West Coast? When we say West Coast IPA, what are, what are generally are we talking about? What kind of hops? Well, are we it's usually, uh, 
usually the sea hops. It's the uh, Columbus, the Cascade, the Chinook, uh, Simcoe with an S, uh, and then the Amarillo. So, so it's really just, it's just really three sea hops. Let's see here, C Cascade, Columbus, Chinook, Centennial, so four Centennial. actually. Oh, yeah. um, they probably use most of those, and they probably dry hop this beer. And when you um, say dry hop, meaning? Meaning they just they put a ton of hops into the, uh, after it's done fermenting, just to kind of get that extra aroma and that kind of blast of flavor. Um, is that traditional on West Coast IPAs? It is, it is. A lot of West Coast IPAs are known for being heavily hopped. And um, Even when, though there are IPAs coming from England and other areas, I mean, West Coast are, are unique in the sense that they do that dry hopping kind of thing to give it that more... Yeah, I mean, I would say even West Coast yeah, is very different from like other American IPAs and that West Coast uh, IPAs are just heavily see, dry hopped. We see a lot of San Diego IPAs, and they claim San Diego IPAs. Now, being in San Diego and being from San Diego and... This is the quintessential San Diego IPA, right? Extremely here. Double hobby. IPA. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's just taking that whole mantra of dry hopping and just taking it to a new level. This late minute uh, flavor hop additions, aroma hop additions. You know, the, the more hops they put in towards the end of the boil, the more aroma and more flavor you're going to have out of those hops. And you get that bitter finish for a long time. Like, yeah. I haven't had a sip in a minute, and it's. It's lazy. Yeah, yeah. But it's not hard to drink, though. That's what no, I'm saying, though. Not like, at all. A, even though it's a very hoppy beer. You take something like the AJ IPA from Coronado, or you take, you know... The Stone. Stone, any, any of those kind of things. The Ruination is really bitter. Yeah. Like, like those ones are almost like yeah. the point where you're like, whoa, i got to take a breath for a second. This thing just punched right. me in the face. This, this one you can drink. The Stone and the Coronado ones are, yeah, they're both really heavy. I have things, to give not it just hop, but to heavy. Port Brewing. Port Brewing, you guys know how to mix an IPA, because I swear to God, <laughs> the last two that we've had here, this one and the last one, Wipeout, have been so drinkable, you guys really know how to make an IPA smooth. Yeah, their, their Wipeout IPA pretty much nailed it for me. Um, I like a hoppier beer, and that one necessarily wasn't wasn't that aggressive hop beer. But the sheer fact of how drinkable it was, like you could literally have it in the middle of the day. Totally. An IPA that you can drink at a barbecue, that's 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 an awesome beer. What are you going to give this guy on a rating scale? One, ten, like, yeah! I like this one a lot. I'm going to throw it at, at, at least an eight, eight and a half. Yeah, I think I'm right there with you, Scott. I think uh, it's just, it really represents San Diego IPAs, West Coast IPAs in general. And, and this is a double IPA, so keep in mind, you know, they're double IPAs, double hops, double the grain, you know, you know more alcohol. Um, I would have to give it, drinkability is high, so I, I would have to give it an eat myself. Yeah. I like it. I'm going to concur with my two f co hosts here, basically. I'm going to give Port Brew. You guys have two for two tonight. You guys are batting a thousand right now. Uh, Way to go. They, they're a solid eight on the other one, too. And, and just to mention, too, they got a good, solid little head on that. Yeah, look at too. that. that mm. Yeah. Pillowy. It is. It's very pillowy. It's pillowy, not it's good verbiage. <laughs> wow. You got the, the, right. the lacing? Is that what we're calling it? Lacing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought we were going for yeah, that. I thought we were going 20 minutes. Ring. Or seven minutes. There you go. Eco line? I like foam ring. Foam ring. But it's not a foam ring. Like, you can get some serious rings on some of those heavier beers, like rings straight around your glass. So or rings. Set. You guys did a good, great job here. We're, we're about an eight for you guys. You know, pork brewing, IPA, way to go. Well done. It's the beer's gone bad. Where? The beer falls on you. Remember, guys, craft beer, support keep, your local breweries. Keep it alive. Get out there and drink a beer. Let's move that 5% market share up to 10. Woo! Woo! All right, guys, thanks for checking in. Uh -huh.